As the rain poured down on him, All Might, with a serious expression on his face, felt like he finally understood the words of his late sidekick, Sir Night Eye. After suffering major injuries from his fight against All For One, All Might was told by Sir Night Eye that if he continues down this path of his, then he will encounter another villain. And what awaits him from there will be an unspeakably gruesome death. Looking up at his approaching opponent, All Might considered the words another villain. He wouldn't have guessed that the young man in front of him was All For One if he didn't know any better. With a briefcase lifted, All Might decided that if Sir Night Eye's prophecy was still in play, then this would be the moment of truth. It's time for All Might versus All For One, one last time. All of this transpired about 20 minutes before the Toga Twice Horde disappeared. Towards his deranged enemy, All Might proclaimed that he was here. What came next was something straight out of an Iron Man movie. Mechanical armor covered All Might's body from head to toe. The only thing that was left exposed was his massive smile. He thought of his late master Shimura Nana and her smile. This is Armored All Might. The battlesuit technology we have been saying has no business not already existing in the world since day one on this channel is finally here. All Might has come back looking more like an eagle themed hero than the whole rabbit thing he kinda had before. It's a pretty cool suit and also must have cost a fortune. This man went from Superman to Iron Man. All Might then told his car to begin recording, which it already was. Now that is some damn confidence. He said, yeah, you're gonna wanna see this. All Might really thinks he's about to beat this man down. I am astounded. All Might would speak over a communicator. He told Tsukauchi that he would show him how this turns out. One of the detective's juniors was blown away by the power armor. He was shocked to discover that the car itself was a support item. Labrava noticed that this was All Might versus All for One they were talking about, in which case she immediately went to stream the battle to the masses. The other people in the room were totally against her doing that though. Tsukauchi thought back to All Might's departure. His friend had told him that he was going to support everyone fighting. But this was something that Tsukauchi felt was impossible on account of the current state of All Might's body. Gritting his teeth, he wondered if his friend had decided to lay down his life for their cause. As he watched All Might, he'd say that no matter what support items a man might have, without a quirk, he just was no match for a monster like All For One. With his hands on his face, the detective would tell La Brava to cut the feed. Otherwise, what she'd be showing everyone is the gruesome murder of your retired hero. All for the sake of buying a few minutes, no, seconds, before All For One reaches Deku and it's game over. All For One's eyes bulge. He thought of All Might, the hero that had effectively been the greatest hindrance in the entirety of his long life. However, he also saw the man as the best toy for him to play with. Now that's a statement I don't think I'd otherwise expect from All For One. Very weird. He knew all too well that All Might was just trying to stall him. It was a pathetic and totally obvious plan. But All For One could not hold himself back. He wondered why the hell All Might was smiling as the veins on his forehead bulged so much that they blew up, leaving a trail of blood from his face. The villain had created a sphere of energy with one of his hands. Reacting to this, all Might caused the support items around him to assume a new form by shouting, Hercules Red. This encased All Might in a protective outer shell that kept him out of harm's way. This aspect of the design appears to have been based on Kirishima's hardening quirk. It protected him from the onslaught just long enough for him to launch himself forward thanks to jet repulsors. Yeah, total Iron Man vibes. Tsukauchi's men could not believe that All Might survived what he just did. The suit told All Might that the Hercules armor's integrity had already gone down by two-thirds. Speaking frankly, it let him know that he wouldn't survive another hit. It's funny that it's already this beaten up, but honestly, All Might has no business fighting this prime supervillain with just support items, so at least it's still a near impossible task. All Might had no problem with this development. As All For One's arm began to regenerate, he realized that All Might's fighting style was one where he recklessly attacks without dodging. So pissed off that he didn't even let his hand fully regenerate, All For One launched himself at All Might. He exclaimed that One For All was the only reason the hero was able to fight like that in the first place. The moment All For One got close to him, All Might sprung a sort of wire trap that caught the villain. 
All for one continued to move despite the quartz. Just then, All Might named the two other powers that his suit's abilities had been based on. Deku for Black Whip and Kaminari for Charge Bolt. The high voltage surged through All for One's body. All for One realized that All Might was using electricity to disrupt his opponent's regeneration. All Might called on Cellophane next, which was Zero. Even in this form, All Might knew his dreaded foe all too well. Ever since the Demon Lord's final battle against Shimmer Nana, he has always started his assault with a clumsy long range attack. As All Might drew closer to the villain, yet another mechanized helper came to his aid. Now All Might was emulating Sato with Sugar Man. He'd then point out that after weakening his opponent, All For One steals their quirk. But according to All Might, that sort of strategy only works against someone who has a quirk. As they watched this heroic display, Labraba jabbed at Officer Tsukauchi, wondering what it was he said about what she'd be showing everyone. Tsukauchi was in awe. He wondered what it was he was seeing. And just who is All Might? Who is this man that has been protecting them for so long? Even without powers, he is faring far better than most heroes would. All Might explained that he wanted a chance to fight one final time, which is why he came up with the idea for this suit and asked for it to be made for him. And the person who made it was Melissa Shield, a character from the first My Hero Academia movie. Horikoshi has made sure to make that movie as canon as canon gets, folks. All Might admitted that the villain had defeated him once before. This forced him to run away to America. And it was there that he was able to forge a fateful bond. With nothing but sheer ferocity and the eyes of a madman willing to die for the cause, All Might told the villain that he would use the gifts given to him to smash his enemy once and for all. He remembered his vow to Deku when the kid confronted him about the death prediction. He told him that he would shape his fate with his own hands. Tsukauchi was on edge as All Might reminded him that they had known each other for years. From there, he would let the detective know that he is his best friend. All For One was taken aback by this brazen display. All Might then emulated Deku yet again with his very own shoot style. As he rapidly kicked the Demon Lord, he told Tsukauchi that he should know more than anyone that he never goes into a fight thinking he'll lose. All Might has more than proven himself. This guy is really built different. Even without a quirk, he is still willing to throw hands with Prime All For One. Now, I'm sure a ton of this is mostly just a bit of misdirection. We'll get to see All Might be a badass hero one last time, but ultimately, things will take a turn and he'll get whooped. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really like Prime All For One. He kinda just feels like a diet Shigaraki right now. Like he cannot stop himself from attacking All Might. All he has to do to win is just walk away, but it is on sight for this man. But at the same time, Shigaraki hasn't really been himself at all for like 100 chapters, so I feel like the story has gotten a bit lost in the sauce. We don't really have either one of our final villains, at least not the versions of the characters that many of us have become invested in. I mean, again, All Might said he wouldn't even be able to recognize All For One like this if he didn't know any better. But even still, this is a much preferred battle to be covering. I'm glad we're getting to see All Might versus All For One one final time. Kinda annoyed that we'll probably never get to see the fight that permanently injured both of them since the story is coming to a close, but it is what it is. I hope this fight keeps things fast paced and punchy. Unless there's a conversation about All For One being Deku's dad and All Might being the dad who stepped up, I don't want to have these guys talking for four chapters straight or something. Also, this super powerful technological armor thing is just a whole different can of worms to be explored. Regardless, Horikoshi, I'm begging you, man. Bring the hype back to My Hero Academia. We need big reveals, epic revivals, ultimate mega fusion combination moves, brutal fights, and some damn good conclusions. Do not make us fall asleep, please bring the heat. And listen, I'm not cruel. I understand that that might be a tall order for Horikoshi right now, considering his health condition. Let me read you this man's author comment real quick. I started taking three strolls every week to take care of my body, but during one of them, my knee started to hurt like crazy. It ended up being bad for my body. This man is going through it. Prayers for Horikoshi. In the comments, let's get a general vibe check of how you guys are feeling about the series right now. I know that the whole Toga versus Uraraka thing was a low point for a lot of people for various reasons, but I'm curious how you guys may be feeling being able to see All Might be able to do his thing one last time in a pretty cool way. As always, I'm Slice Botaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.